road trip. You know what that means. Sticking to the one meal a day. This is just iced coffee. No sugar, no cream. I am not responsible. I am not involved in any of these Timbit madness. Timbit madness, I'm not involved. Madness. Timbit tree. No sugar, no cream. Yeah, it's not as good. Would you like one? This is a Timbit. If you plant these, a donut tree will grow. important to get a little bit of culture, a little bit of history. It's important for a growing mind. I said we're going on a road trip. I said we're going to a museum. All true. Here we are at the world famous Gopher Hole Museum. There are 77 mountain gophers and 47 displays. So let's go in, let's check it out. Let's see how this goes. Look at this. All the places people have visited from. Like I said, this is world famous, I'm not kidding. Wow. This guy got to go to the Vancouver Olympics. <laughs> That's so cool. Little picnic. Oh, look at their little dog. When did this museum get started? I'm just gonna have to ask you if you'd like to know how and why. I would so, love to. The government gave us a small grant to promote tourism. We have three streets, and we're going, what are we gonna promote? So we had many meetings, and we kept thinking. There's not a whole lot to promote here for tourism. We're okay, let's go with the gopher team. We got lots of gophers around here. So it was kind of like a desperate thought, like we didn't know what else to do. So we went with it, and like even people in town are laughing at us, and we're like, well, we got to do last six months a year, but at least we tried. So this is what we did. With this part of the building, when they tore down our elevator, it was a, an office, so they donated it to us. That part of the building was a different We wired everything, and we had the plumbing in there, and we thought, okay, put it together. We started with the pitch, and um, we thought, okay. Well, it's a go for old time music jamboree here. Well, if you go to Barry and Bernie's diner, you're bound to get stuffed. Well, you need some groceries. You gotta go to the general store. This is the history of the early gophers who started out in the wilderness. And the early gopher settlers had to make a living from the land. But they spent their winter making snowmen, as gophers do. And like good Canadian gophers, two of our favorite winter pastimes, curling and hockey, and figure skating. What is really going on here? And then of course, gophers have their Olympics, just like we do. A happy occasion. <laughs> this, this is an explorer gopher who 
who's off in the jungle, South America. Jungle gopher. Jungle gopher. Oh, hanging out at the pool. These are some studious gophers at the library, learning new things. Oh no, there's bad gophers too. There's, there's some godly gophers. Oh, look at the gopher angel. <laughs> oh, a little, little moonlight action happening over here. When you got too much stuff as a little gopher, you gotta have a gopher yard, so. Just the way it is. Oh, that guy knows what it's all about on the weekend. Up in the mountains, go a little fishing. The museum is open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. between June the 1st and September 30th. And it costs $2 to get in. Can't beat that deal. The story goes that the guy who painted this went on to work for Disney. His name was Wayne Schneider. No one ever thought it would last, and now it is literally world famous at Gopher Hole Museum. Our adventure isn't over because we have a dining adventure right now. Well, I wouldn't say dining, an eating adventure. Have you been here? Oh, this is a new treat. Jimmy's a and oh, so good. We're gonna get a Donair. I love this place. I've been coming here for years and years and years. The best Donairs in town, pretty much the best Donairs anywhere. Plus all of this really cool deli stuff, delicious. Absolutely the best baklava you can find in Calgary, as far as I'm concerned. Napkins are cut ready if you want it. Mm -hmm. There you go, have a great day. Oh, Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Oh, you. It's so good. You're going to love it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, buddy. Let's see. That's the stuff. It's so good. We got the keto version, which is basically the meat without any of the pita. Is there a rule about not eating anything bigger than your head? There is, but you're ignoring it. Don't care. Honestly, don't know what the meat is. I know it's beef. The other thing I know is it's delicious. Mmm, it's been way too long. 